Hello, welcome to Social Studies Lecture Series. Today's topic is the five themes of geography. The first theme is location. It means where people or things are. There are two kinds of locations, absolute location and relative location. Absolute location is described by longitude and latitude. A specific address is also an absolute location. Such as the address of Shippensburg University, 1871 Old Main Drive, Shippensburg, Pennsylvania, 17257. In our daily lives, we more often use relative location to describe where people and things are, such as Canada and the north of the United States. My mother lives one block away from the post office. Mary is now at the bus stop near the Shell gas station in King Street etc. The second theme of geography is place. Everyone knows what a place is. Asia is place, a big place. Times Square is a place in New York City. My hometown is a place. Your neighborhood is a place. A place is described by physical characteristics and cultural characteristics. Physical characteristics mean the natural features of place. Boston is a seaport city. Pittsburgh is an inland city surrounded by mountains and rivers. There are many kinds of wild animals in Yellowstone National Park. West Virginia has large resources of coal, Alaska is very cold in winter. All of the above are physical characteristics of a place. Cultural characteristics include people, industry, trade, transportation, parks, food, and other cultural resources such as restaurants, theaters, museums, and historical sites. The third theme of geography is human and environment interaction. We human beings rely on nature. We need water to drink, we need field to grow our crops, we need river for transportation and for fishing. We also modify our natural environments to satisfy our needs. We dig tunnels in tall mountains for our highways build dams for irrigation or for hydropower, we build levees to keep flood away from our living community. However, while our natural environment provides us with bounty living resources, Mother Nature also brings damages to our life and work. Flood, forest fire, hurricane, tornado, earthquake, you name it. Now let's talk about the fourth theme movement. All things are moving. People are moving for different purposes, such as for jobs, for travel, for good living environment. Sometimes people move involuntarily, such as slaves and people under political persecution. Another aspect of movement is that goods are moving. In a global village we share resources and products all over the world. Check every piece of your clothes you are wearing, are they made in the same country? Usually not. Ideas are also moving. Or we may say information is moving. In the very old days, information was transmitted from mouth to ears. Today computer and the internet are the major media for disseminating ideas or information. What is a region? Region is the fifth theme of geography. What do we mean when we say the corn belt? We mean that there is a big place in the Midwest suitable for growing corns. Because the natural conditions such as soil, Climate, rainfall are good for such a crop. So region is a large area of land that share unique features in one way or another. There are political regions such as a country, the Middle East, Southeast Asia. There are economic regions such as Silicon Valley, the Mississippi River Delta. There are cultural regions such as the Bible Belt, the Bluegrass region. Now, let me summarize the five themes into a mnemonics. It is called Mr. Help. Mr. Help. I am sure you can figure out what it stands for. <laughs>